Uh, so any oh no, the stim turtles. pack looks terrifying. Huh? The stim pack looks terrifying. Did you yeah, see that somebody won? That somebody won. Huh? I'm sorry. Did you, did you see that somebody won their office in in the primaries? I mean, in the uh, midterms, but they were already dead. The fuck? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I can bring it up really quick. Uh. Dennis Hoff wins Nevada legislative race after death. <laughs> huh. Nevada brothel owner and realty TV star Dennis Hoff died last month, but still won a heavily GOP state legislature district after fashioning himself after Donald Trump and blah, blah, blah. So he won. Posthumously? He died before the election and then won the election posthumously. I mean, I've heard of that it's happening once or twice. They usually just have a special election. Uh, or they, they usually have, like, the governor appoint uh, somebody of the same party. Um, that's like, I happened... guess at that point you have to vote for the dead guy if that's the ideology you want to support, huh? Because otherwise they you just get the other person. Yeah. So you have to, like, be like, I guess we'll vote for the dead person and then wait to yep. figure out what that actually does afterwards. Yeah, so that's generally the way it works. This isn't the first time it's happened. Uh, there's actually a yeah, standard procedure for Yeah, but it's really it. bizarre. I suppose, but... Yeah, you know, it's politics. Everything about it is fucking crazy oh, yeah. bizarre all the time. Uh. If you can't figure out how to laugh, ha! <laughs> well. <laughs> so anyway, uh, <laughs> what was your uh, favorite uh, state state house pickup? State house pickup. Yeah, I, I was a big fan of uh, the old Illinois Three. Uh, the fight and uh, I'm not gonna steal a Stephen Colbert bit. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> it was about I I miss uh, George Bush era Daily Show and Colbert Report. Oh, those were great <laughs> times. They got me through. They got me through some some hard times with the decider. It was a very different time. The people yeah. they were talking about are gone, and also they're gone. Yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine way who that they is, were. Uh, is my coworker, and he's probably like six or seven years younger than me at this point. Um, and I was like, "You're younger than me. Did you have George Bush memes?" He's like, "Cause, cause when I was a kid, we had George Bush memes, and George Bush memes were great." And he was like, "Yeah, kinda." He was like, "We were very young back, back in the George Bush days," and I was like. Did you remember Mission Accomplished? I remember Mission Accomplished. <laughs> you remember the Decider? You remember Napster? <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, Fool Me Fool me Once? Shame on you. Fool Me Twice. You ain't gonna fool me again? That was that was a good time. That was a good time Wait, had that, by everyone. Was that a real quote? Yeah. That was a, you, know, <laughs> you don't remember Bush memes? You... Apparently I don't remember it. I thought... I remember the quote. I thought it was a joke. Like, Keith. It was a caricature. Keith, I I fucked up really badly. What'd you do? Is something on fire? It looks on no, fire. No, nothing here. will ever be on fire again. This um, thing's stuck. <laughs> what the fuck? It's gone. <laughs> All right, Superman, you want to show me how you did that? <laughs> With left click. <laughs> I've been trying to get that thing unjimmeled for <laughs> so look. long, and you just come in. Oh, man. Well, thanks. I, you sounded so sad. I was sad. <laughs> I was like, we're never going to be able to win now because I blocked our incinerator. But you saved me like the Spider-Man you are. <laughs> you are my only hope. <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan. Oh, boy. Ke Keithy. <clears throat> this has been an interesting week for controversies. Why? The fucking Diablo thing? Oh yeah, I guess we want to talk about that. What that the was fuck, guys? Fucking weird. That was. I, I was just insane. kind of embarrassed about it. Like, yeah. what is wrong? Why did you put it in again? Stop it. Because I'm trying to set it on fire, obvi fucking it's, it's, asleep. It's clearly not trash. Why don't you incinerate it? It's clearly not trash. What is it? Uh, it is clear. I have grade. never seen trashier trash in my life. <laughs> Where is the incinerator gun? I will blow it up uh, right here, right now. I've never been more cons I've never been more confused by a controversy of like people just being so mad about 
I don't want to buy that game, okay? But I'm I'm mad for like a week about it. I'm like, what? Oh, okay, yeah, you lost me. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Uh, you'll hear my thoughts on this once we uh, figure out how to jam that uh, grate into the incinerator. There's not even like an unethical side of like, oh, the game oh, yeah, yeah. is like full yeah. of microtransactions or like yeah, micro incinerator. It killed a puppy. Yeah, it's kill like, the, it's kill the a great. They don't want to buy, and that's the whole controversy. They don't want to buy Incinerator. Yeah, I agree. What are you doing right now? I want to incinerate <laughs> this thing, and you're changing this uh, topic. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. We have I'm, shit to do. I'm also I'm also stacking objects so that they're like not toppled everywhere. Uh, we might be about done. I think we are. I don't know how much there is to do? <gasps> it's gone. It's gone. Okay, what were we saying about Diablo? Yeah, that just made me feel embarrassed. It like that is one of just a long, long, long list of events that make me not publicly identify as a gamer, or <laughs> at, even as somebody who plays video games. You know how many people in real life even know I run a YouTube channel? Like two. I uh, I, I definitely keep my online identity very, very, very strongly separated from my real life identity. As you know, when we met in real life, I was like, you will not call me Bird. That's yeah. my stage name. <laughs> Get Suddenly switch gears to comfortably calling me the word that I don't let you call me during all the other situations. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, whereas you you're just Keith weird. in real life and Keith in... Um, yeah, just simplified internet. shit. Because uh, yeah, Cause uh, Google insane. Plus was just showed my name one day, and I was like, "All right, <laughs> fuck it, sure." Uh, Google Plus debacle. I I remember that. Do uh, you remember how pissed off R slash Let's Play was? Why were they pissed? Because they were like, "We have to, we have to link our YouTube channels to Google Plus." All I know is, the main thing I remember from r slash let's play is everything being the real reason that they're failing. Yeah, <laughs> true. There's, there's just, it's just, it's a whole less, it's a whole subreddit dedicated to self-created conspiracies about why, why you, they can't make it on YouTube. Yeah, and I haven't been have, on and, years and the as a result. And the reasons are never the creator's fault. Yeah. It's always 500 other reasons. Are there stack zones anywhere, or do we just have... Uh, there is one. Oh, there's. Oh, I see one. Yeah, I am this choosing to says, incinerate everything instead of stacking shit. This one says crates. Oh, that's nice. All right, I'm gonna move all the crates over. You fucking cut oh, your. Oh. I am incinerating that crate. Did we just tug of war? We did just tug of war, and I won. <laughs> all right. All right. Do boink. Ow, Whoa! Ow, ow, ow. Whoa. <laughs> I just, I just Jesus. red shelled you. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Um, let me look around for a yellow zone. There should be one probably in this hallway, if I were to guess. Yeah, there's probably like a barrel zone somewhere. Probably. I oh, know, I knocked my light over. I'm so sorry, little light. Be safe. I love you. You make it so I can see with my eyes. There we go. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen you outpour more emotion about anything ever. This little light of mine. Chat's, chat's saying of course that the game's gonna have microtransactions. Of course they made it so they could have microtransactions. I'm like, yeah, all Blizzard games have microtransactions. Yeah. You think? You think all the if, if Blizzard fans don't get to be mad about microtransactions at this point after enabling them for the last decade? More than that, dude. You want to know their what? Their top games were like Hearthstone. Overwatch and Diablo 3, which I remember Diablo 3 opened with a real money auction house. Overwatch has 50 billion loot boxes, and how, and uh, Hearthstone is an actual card game where microtransactions <laughs> are the foundation of the entire way you play the game. Let me put it to you this way. You know what we called microtransactions uh, transactions before? It's called DLC. You know what we called DLC before? Expansion packs. Everyone loves like StarCraft, Brood War, and stuff like that, but they but they've been fucking doing microtransactions and DLCs since the mid '90s. Uh, the model microtransactions changed. are different because they're like more like the equivalent of like DL. It, you buy them like DLC, but they're more like consumables, basically. 
Oh, uh, isn't like, that kind of like one shot like, things? Yeah, that's a fair. <laughs> that's a fair yeah, distinction. Well, well no, it's like it's not even like a mission pack or anything. A microtransaction is more like a card pack or yeah, uh, or a skin. Mm -hmm. Those things or loot boxes are a variation of microtransaction. Or the worst like of point, all, where it's at like, this point, that's yeah. all that Blizzard really is. Yeah. That's their whole business model, and people have enabled it by constantly buying them, <laughs> showing them that they approve of that behavior. Meanwhile, well, Diablo is such a one-button, no-brain game where you just grind for 500 hours while not thinking at all that it's perfect for phones. It's the most obvious phone part ever. And huh. I, I've i been watching the people on the on the subreddit, like, their brains melt because it's Diablo is not for casuals. I'm a hardcore gamer, damn it. I'm a hardcore... Like, they, their, their poor ego is, like, melting in, in publicly in front of everybody. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry to break it to you. Diablo's, it's just a mindless loot grinder. Yeah, it's Diablo the, It's one is... of the least hardcore games ever made. Um, I would say Diablo 2, if you got very, very into the meta and like the economy of the game, I would describe as that qualifies as a I'm losing my mind experience. here. We keep getting footprints in this hallway, but I don't think either of us have... I don't know how we're making them. We I have no idea back and either. Forth and making footprints here. I have, I have no idea how it's happening. It might it might be time to pull up the schmutzer, the schmutz finder. Like this is one of those things where like the outrage, and the level of it, and also the reasons for it, all the, like invalidate. They're 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 counterproductive because they work to invalidate all of the actual reasons to be mad about the stuff ever, including like. You know, I don't mean like real world things like, oh, starving people and stuff like that. I mean like, just like the issue of like, there's more important things to be mad about in gaming. <laughs> and like, the, the, big out, the, the big outrage here wasn't the work conditions of Rockstar employees or people working on Red Dead Redemption, but not being there at the moment it launched. So they were removed from the credits or anything like that. It's just, they making a phone game that is just a phone game and I'm really mad about that. They announced like seven other things at this convention, but this one I didn't like, so I'm really mad. I'm yeah. gonna spend all day talking about how mad I am. And, and people and people keep sending it to me to like, what's your take on this? Like they want me to like side with them. And I'm like, this is literally what the word entitlement means. <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing. And you're an asshole if you say that. And then people get yeah. mad at you for being like, but that's it's really childish embarrassing entitlement it's super like it is pretty embarrassing it's at. it's stuff like that man that's what i said like that's why i don't i don't go around saying i watch video games or <laughs> sorry i don't go around <laughs> saying i play video game i was thinking watch anime which i also don't go around saying that i do either um cuz i'm just like uh, uh people are going to think that i'm something that I'm not and yeah. it's easier to just not be something that you're not that was deep well it's like it's like that stuff and Gamergate stuff and just other issues of like just like I oh boy every time every time we're in the news it's like it's literally just about how gamers are inconsolably angry all the time about really petty things well I and mean it's, it's like, not oh, like, boy, it's not a unfounded accusation. It's like, oh, where is this stereotype coming from? <laughs> uh, Keith, yeah, it's. I fucked up again. I've shied away from every gaming community I've ever found my way, way into, which makes things really interesting. Because if you think about it, I'm making a gaming community. Kind of. <laughs> well, oh you no, you really the fucked shit it up this yours. time. Oh no, what did you do? I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. Uh, it's fine. It's working now. Have you noticed that the character, when they're in the hands mode, they're running around, it looks terrifying? Yeah. Watching them just like kind of uh, hurtle towards see. you like, <laughs> Their other response is, I do kind of feel bad about the hardcore fans that all went dressed up, traveled to BlizzCon based on a new title, and then Blizzard hit them with the uh, iOS. Blizzard very publicly announced they will not have a new Diablo game to share with them in advance that was said and also you can't just go to every blizzcon every year and then be mad they didn't give you a new diablo game every year like that's not <laughs> it's a convention for one company 
and they announced like four new things including remakes of old things and really like no new games like you're never almost never going to have a new game announced at blizzcon because it's one studio's convention yeah like i would i don't under, i genuinely don't understand the people that go to blizzcon like it's going to be e3 or something or something like i, I know why my, my 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 housemate marty goes to blizzcon because he meets up with his entire guild there it's a major social event every year for him Mm -hmm. That kind of person, I get. Somebody being like, they better announce a fucking killer app this year and every year forever at this annual convention for one studio are insane people. Especially when it's a studio that makes living games, like those games that you just update forever. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, like, they're conditioned they're continually, to... Like, uh, you're not going to an Activision. Yeah. It's, I mean, it is technically Activision, but you're not going to an Activision... Uh, convention so like you're not gonna get the new call of duty announced like every game they put out is alive for like eight years and continually updated so the new amazing announcement is gonna be they made a hamster that you can play as in this game <laughs> and that's more or less how their whole company works yeah, they are supposedly making diablo 4 or working on some kind of variation of actual Diablo thing they're going to announce, but they said in advance before the convention that they will not be announcing that project at the convention. So, like... Well, I mean, I know, but that's just a code could... word, which means they are going to announce it and surprise it again. <laughs> Hashtag leaks. Is there a barrel zone or not? We've been scraping up and down this place now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the, uh, what the D Schmutzer is that's about. the crates place. I think there just isn't a barrel place. <clears throat> Maybe this, we should just burn them all. <laughs> is this like... Why is the Vishmutzer complaining about this? Does it look like it's going after the... the I manhole can't cover? Tell. Oh, I found it. What? Or I found a variation of what it's going after. Where's the gun? Uh, it's over Where's here. Where's the gun? It's right there. Oh yeah, there's a couple up there. There's one more. This is really hard to aim. You don't get a reticle? Ah. Uh, Here we go. Now it's got, it's got a little ash. There we go. Is uh, it gone yet? Still, nope. Yeah. Go away. There we, there we go. Your magic gun filled the I concrete. Met, oh, my magic gun went in the poop. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We need the poop. Not the poop gun. That's all. Oh, it's yeah. complaining about this thing. It's complaining about the story. 